you told him... What are you doing here? He isn't here yet, huh? I have told you that there isn't anybody else. You say that to me right here in this place. Oh, and why don't you ask me why I'm here? I don't have to ask you anything. I know why you're here. I'm here because Maria's sick, and she needs my help. Good Samaritan? To a servant I fired for thieving? She was kind to me. That's why I helped her. In the middle of the night, when I'm supposed to be away on business. Would you have ever let me come here any other time? And that? I suppose that's for Maria. Did you? Huh? Oh, Coco was getting a little of his work, eh? What do you mean, old? He just stepped in a chuck hole back there, is all. Yeah, I've been noticing. A lot more holes around here than there used to be. Maybe there are. Maybe there are. You know that uh, trip you're going on tomorrow? That ain't no Sunday ride through back pasture. What do you mean? Well, meaning I broke in that new stallion you like. Won't you take him along tomorrow? Give you a chance to get to know one another. Big Duke? Sure. Oh, well, maybe you're right. Maybe. Maybe old Coco here does need a rest. Maybe you're right. Well, yeah, old Coco here, he's earned retiring twice over. Retiring? Who said anything about retiring? Not me. But old Big Duke, you know, he's got a lot younger outlook. May even be able to give you a more uh, personal hand at picking out them blue mares, huh? Well, he's all ready for you, Nick. Who's that? Big Duke, he's all saddled and ready to go. Big Duke, what's the matter with Coco? Is Nothing's the matter with Coco. He's fine, just fine. He just needs a little rest, that's all. How old's he getting to be now? I wouldn't know. He's not as ancient as you seem to think he is. He's 22. At least I remember seeing a picture of the two of you when you were both skinny coats. You remember? I remember. The first two months, he used to throw me twice a day. <laughs> well, he's about holding to that average now. Now, wait a minute, Heath. What happened yesterday was an accident. I told you that. He stepped in a chuck hole. I know, Coco. A man grows up with his horse, he knows that animal. Besides, old Coco will be cutting cattle long after this big duke of yours is in a rocking chair. 
Well, Nick, I know how hard it's going to be for you to have to put him out to pasture, but... Pasture? Who said anything about pasture? Besides, I've got to go across the desert. No cocoa can smell out water better than any camel. So you can take your big duke and unsaddle him and... Well, whatever. I'll be back in a couple of days, Mike. Talk about stubborn. Drop your gun, Bill. You make much of a living this way, mister? Just do what I say. Now, you just come along with us. Could you just tell me where we're going? You'll find out soon enough. All right, let's move out. Pretty big mistake, mister. No, I think you've made one. Welcome to the club. It'll take five sticks of dynamite to blow your way through that window. What's all this about, anyway? You've got no right. This is the United States. We got the same treatment you did. They didn't give us no reason or nothing. My name's Gandhi. Barkley, Nick Barkley. This here's Bodkin. You sure they left that door? Kind of mistake, mister. I ain't done you no harm. I think at best you explain all this. This one, I would think. Well, the Apache could find out for sure soon enough. Well, what's your name? What's yours? I'm Ben Dawes. I own this country about as far as your eye can see. And the people who live on it, mostly. Mr. Dawes, I was just riding through here, minding my own business, and all I want to do is just keep on going. Take a look out that window. Oh, go on. What do you see? Horses. Just horses. A bit more, I should think. They all have white manes. Exactly. So, last night, I almost caught a man riding such a horse. He had been with my wife. Your wife? Today, my men searched the valley and the town. There are three men riding horses with white manes. Look at me. I'm, I'm no ladies' man. You, you can see for yourself. Look, I swear I never set eyes on your woman. I don't want to. I mean, to no offense, of course. Never set foot in this country until this morning. All in a 
innocent. But one of you is him. Best the other two find out who he is. Let me know. And if we don't... When the sun tops the mountains tomorrow, you'll all hang together. You'll never get away with it. I will. I'm the law here, and the judge. As far as you can see in any direction. You, isn't it? I saw, I saw her, you know. The what? When they brought me in. She was standing in the window in the house. Yeah? What does she look like? Something all right. Yeah? Like one of them China dolls. All soft, white, silk, lace. No wonder that old man is out to hang somebody. What makes you think it's him? Huh? Look at him. Young. <laughs> Good looking. I sure ain't no lady killer. Neither are you. Getting right down to it. She'd sure go for his kind, all right. That'll be enough out of you, little man. We don't need any kind of this loose talk around here. It's this minute, do you think? No, it was not him. Young and handsome. <laughs> no. Did you find it pleasant? Something for you, Mr. Dawes? No. No, Tony. Thanks, anyway. Beautiful tonight. It's almost like daylight. Yeah. Yeah, it's what we used to call a, a hunter's moon. Enough light, proper season, the right prey, 
Are you really gonna go through with it, Mr. Dawes? I have to. When? Daybreak. Lord works in mysterious ways. He takes. But he gives. And I'm grateful. My own blood son. Doesn't stand quite as tall in my shadow as you do. Let me do the job for you. Oh, no, no. Keep your hands no, clean no, of it. No, Tony, no. Look, all... All that out there is... Uh, all going to be yours one day to make something out of it. That'll be your job. That back there is mine, and mine alone. I must say, for a man that's about to hang, you don't look too worried. Well, as a matter of fact, I'm not too worried. As a matter of fact, I know how to get out of here. You never said so before. Yep, well, I'm saying so now. What are you cutting for? Get out of my way, Barkley! You're cutting mine! It is him. Just like I said right from the beginning, I will said he was the one... Well, get Dawes down here. Start yelling! Get it! Stop! Your man, Mr. Dawes. He said so himself. That's right. That's right. I heard him. You're lying. Oh, yeah, he was bragging about it. Only he said he wasn't going to die by himself. He said we was all going to hang together. Of course, I knew it was him even before he, before he said it. The way they looked at each other when she was down here. Of course, you saw that all yourself, Mr. Dawes. You saw them together. Well, there's your man. It figured to be like that. Get these two on their horses and get them out of here. Let the others go. But they're all innocent because I'm innocent. Can't you understand You're that? You're going to beg for his life now. Oh, ben, please. No, please, why won't oh, you... Why didn't I just leave you where I found you? Ben, there isn't any man but you... No more. From now on, you're a prisoner. This house is your jail. You're going to be watched every second and followed every step, day and night. And there's going to be no man, no man at all, for as long as you live.
husband's a madman, and... Well, you saw how he was, and he's gonna kill both of us. All right, just get me out of the cell here. Well, will you help me? All right, all right. I, I know the way out. Will you take me with you? Just anywhere, out of his reach. All right, but how do you get me out of the cell? Here. Huh? The key to the door. Good. No, but there's a guard up there. The Apache. Well, here he goes. Let me take a look at it. Well, it's only a scratch. Oh, yeah. Looks pretty deep to me. Come on, hurry. We've got to go. All right. Take it easy. All right. Doctor, is there one close? Yes, he's in town about five miles. I'm sorry. Sorry. Miss Dodge, come in. Sit over here. Clean wound. You're going to be all right, Miss Doss. You must be that fellow Ben Doss is looking for. Well, you won't get very far. We'll keep this bound up tight. Why not? You won't have any stitches in there. Well, a hundred horses couldn't take you far enough away. If Ben Dawes got his mind set on catching you. Oh, I don't know. I think I'll make it. And if you was figuring on taking her with you, you ain't. And I suppose you was figuring on taking her with you. You suppose right. Look, Dr. Ben was wrong about him. I just met him today. Yeah. Well, be pretty hard convincing him of that now, wouldn't it? We could have just waited around until Ben hung him. It's going to be as good as new in a couple of days now. You just sit there. Hey, you drink some of this. Make you feel. 
feel better. You know, there's no stopping Ben Doss. You may have to kill him. Well, now, I just might have to do that. There'll be a lot of folks uh, maybe not appreciate that. Meaning you, huh? Hmm. Well, you may not like what you see in me now, but you'd have liked me a lot less seven years ago before I met Ben Doss. Well, the Ben Doss I knew would murder three men guilty or innocent. Hmm. It's hard to figure. The man I know picked a bum out of the gutter and puts a manhood back in his spine. Oh, I see. What you're saying is one good turn makes up for all the bad ones. Huh? No. As a matter of fact, this ain't the first time he's done something like that. Now, you take that young Tony Semper, the young fella just drifting along, becoming a real no good. Ben Dawes picked him up, treated him like, like his own son, grooming him to step into his own boots when the time comes. What would you have us do, Doctor? Think praises to the great Ben Dawes while he hangs us from the nearest tree? No. As a matter of fact, I hope you make it, both of you. Well, you best be gone. Miss Dawes, I'm not going to alert your husband. Man's got to pay for his own debts out of his own pocket. Not out of somebody else's. All right, come on. One of them was cut, sure enough. Just the beginning of their suffering, boy. You know, I never really believed it, Mr. Dawes. I never believed she was guilty, but, but she helped him escape. She even went off with it. Just tell the boys it's $100 to the man who kills Barkley. Trail, Doctor, right here to your house. You had visitors during the night? I did, sir. My wife was one of them. She was hurt. I fixed a cut on her arm. Did you know they were running away? Yes, I did. Thank you for that, Ben. I won't have to feel sorry for you anymore. Time you needed help, I gave it. And when you had no friends, I became one. And now, when I get back, I want you gone out of this valley. You understand me? I'll be gone, Mr. Dawes. Doctor, you helped them. Why? Because I'm a doctor, not a judge. I'm a man. I'm not some kind of a god. Coco here needs a little rest. Yeah. 
Not as uh, young as he used to be, you know. But he'll be all right. He'll be fine. Okay. I guess you're probably wondering about a lot of things. Oh, right. you can tell me about that sometime. No, you know I, what? You've already re deserved the right to know. It wasn't always like this between Ben and me. Well, he was different when I first met him in San Francisco. Is that where you're from, San Francisco? Yeah. I never knew my parents. I was brought up by an aunt and... and one of my uncles. That was a very unhappy time. And then along came Ben Dawes. He was on town on business and... he... Well, he was just everything I'd always dreamed of. So you married him? Yes. I loved him because he was big and strong and mature. And because he said he loved me. And he brought me here to his castle. I thought I was going to be Cinderella. But this castle turned out to be a dungeon, a prison. Oh, no, no, wait a minute. You don't have to go into all this. You no, know. I, mean, I want to. I... Well, it's because of me you got into all of this anyway. It, it won't take long. There's not much more. See, Ben changed. He became mean and cruel and jealous. And he never let me see anyone but the ranch hands and the people in town. And as you well know, he owns every single one of them. All those beautiful dreams he's going to make come true for me. They're all gone. <laughs> They're To get anywhere, we better get going before sunset, don't you think? Huh? Come on. You're right. Come on. What is it, Nick? Just a little breather is all. Oh, now, don't worry. We'll make it. Right now, I'd say we all need a rest. Don't you? very much help, am I? Oh, well, now, you're too pretty to have to work. I don't think I ever left the city until I met Ben. Well, that was just my luck. I like the city. I like all the lights and the fancy places to eat. I had two weeks of that when we were first married. It's all still there, you know. No, no. I think it's too late now. Oh, no, no. You know what they say, it's never too late. 
You really think so? I mean, to be a silly little girl again? Or a woman. I, I, I think maybe the beans are just about ready. You better, better dive in there. Aren't you going to eat? In a minute. I just uh, shouldn't have brought old Coco along on this trip. I guess he's just a little bit too old for all this. How bad is he, Nick? Well, I'd, I'd say he's a... <laughs> you'll never get within 10 miles of that pony of yours. Juliet, uh, you... You sure you know the way out of here? Yes. All right. Then. Tomorrow morning, first thing, you hit the trail. You and that horse of yours, get uh, out of here as fast as you can. You mean alone? It's the only way. Now, you'll make twice the time we made today. And by tomorrow evening, you'll be... you'll be safe and sound. No, Nick. I said yes. I'm not going anywhere without you. strength. Nick. The answer's still no. Like they're gaining on us.
horse fell. I see. Well, I'm sorry I ran out on you. I was just afraid, all right? That's all right. Where are you going? I'm not going to let that horse stay down there. But... Now, you wait here. You hear me? You wait right here. All right, but hurry back. Mercy. to kill me. Why? Tony! Why? You've picked yourself quite a pair, Mr. Doss. Juliet and me. With her dead, you, you'd never have known. It, it was her idea. The house in town, uh, the, the medicine. In case you ever found out. She's a clever girl, Juliet. Tony. Tony, not you. It was me and her all the time. I'm sorry. Now, you 
tell me about the horse with the white mane? That was your own horse. <laughs> Tony rode him that night. We always used to ride him. Oh, Ben, you're getting old. You don't remember things very good anymore. And you don't see things very good anymore, either. You hear me? You're an old man. Would you get her out of here? suffer. broodmares I brought back with me. They're out in the corral. Well, looks like you had a rough trip. Oh, just average. Well, it took three more days than you planned. Why? Well, as a matter of fact, uh... I'll bet he met a pretty young girl somewhere. Matter of fact, I did. I thought so. I think I'll look at those mares you've been talking about. Well, I imagine you'll tell us all about it. That is, when you feel like it. Well, as soon as I get old Coco here bedded down, he... He had such a time chasing down them brood mares. He's just a little bit done in. What about Coco? Well, uh, he'll be staying here for a while. Uh, no more long, hard rides, just a lot of good rest. I guess sometimes the best way to hold on to something is to let it go. Know what I mean? Yes, Nick. I know what you mean. He isn't here yet, huh? 
I have told you that there isn't anybody else. You say that to me right here in this place. Oh, and why don't you ask me why I'm I here? I don't have to ask you anything. I know why you're here. I'm here because Maria's sick, and she needs my help. Good Samaritan? To a servant I fired for thieving? She was kind to me. That's why I helped her. In the middle of the night, when I'm supposed to be away on business. Would you have ever let me come here any other time? And that? I suppose that's for Maria. Did you? Huh? Oh, Coco was getting a little old for his work, eh? What do you mean, old? He just stepped in a chuck hole back there, that's all. Yeah, I've been noticing. A lot more holes around here than there used to be. Maybe there are, maybe there are. You know that uh, trip you're going on tomorrow? That ain't no Sunday ride through back pasture. What do you mean? Well, meaning I broke in that new stallion you like. Won't you take him along tomorrow? Give you a chance to get to know one another. Big Duke? Sure. Oh, well, maybe you're right, maybe. What are you 
you doing here? He isn't here yet, huh? I have told you that there isn't anybody else. You say that to me right here in this place. Oh, and why don't you ask me why I'm here? I don't have to ask you anything. I know why you're here. I'm here because Maria's sick, and she needs my help. Good Samaritan? To a servant I fired for thieving? She was kind to me. That's why I helped her. In the middle of the night, when I'm supposed to be away on business. Would you have ever let me come here any other time? And that? I suppose that's for Maria. Coco was getting a little over his work, eh? What do you mean, old? He just stepped in a chuck hole back there, that's all. Yeah, I've been noticing. A lot more holes around here than there used to be. Maybe there are, maybe there are. You know that uh, trip you're going on tomorrow? That ain't no Sunday ride through back pasture. What do you mean? Well, meaning I broke in that new stallion you like. Won't you take him along tomorrow? Give you a chance to get to know one another. Big Duke? Sure. Well, maybe you're right, maybe. Maybe old Coco here does need a rest. Maybe you're right. Well, yeah, old Coco here, he's earned retiring twice over. Retiring? Who said anything about retiring? Not me. Old Big Duke, you know, he's got a lot younger outlook. May even be able to give you a more uh, personal hand at picking out them blue mares, huh? Well, he's all ready for you, Nick. Who's that? Big Duke, he's all saddled and ready to go. Big Duke, what's the matter with Coco? Is Nothing's the matter with... 